This is Kilo, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Quickset Cradle tool to rekey a smart lock. If you're a locksmith, you may have one of these on your van, and you've probably wondered what this is. You will use this when you come across a smart lock in the field that needs to be rekeyed, but it doesn't have its original key. Or maybe you're a homeowner who went down to your local Home Depot or Lowe's and you may have picked up a rekey kit. If you need help with that, in video number two, I show you exactly how that works step by step. It's a very simple process, and it only takes a couple of seconds. Now, let's say you went and picked up your kit, you brought it home, read the instructions really fast. You may have made a common mistake and locked yourself out of your smart lock. Now, the way it works, quickly here, we will take our key, we will insert it into the lock, turn it a quarter turn, use our change tool to press into this little slot next to the keyway, press until you hear a click, remove your key, we will take a new key and insert it into the lock. Now, this is the part where everyone makes the mistake Normally, you would put this into the lock all the way and turn it back the opposite way. And we have now rekeyed the lock. Now, the mistake everybody makes is we will take our new key. And as we insert it, we are not paying attention and we leave our key out just enough. This will cause issues while rekeying your lock. So let's say we're not paying attention. We're trying to do it really quickly. We say, you know, I read the directions. I know what I'm doing. And you don't notice that the shoulder is not touching the face of the plug. The shoulder of your key is right here. This guy right there should always make full contact with the plug. So in this case, we are trying to rekey it. We did it real quick. We left a gap and we turn it back. We've now locked ourselves out of our smart lock. What do we do now? So what we can do, you know, you're going to try your old key. You're going to panic and say, oh no, what have I done? So you can try and put it back in. So, you know, right where you keyed it, you know, to your little gap cut and it will turn over and if you can figure out exactly where the gap was you can just simply push the tool in remove this key put your other key in all the way and we've fixed that problem now let's say that you're struggling, maybe you left too much of a gap, maybe you're just not finding the point where you left that gap. So in this case, we will use the cradle tool. Now I have two. This is the original and this is the new one. The original, it was red. It has a label that says quick set. And if you look around the label, it shows you an illustration of all of the steps to complete this rekeying process. On the new design, I see why they did this. The old design was black and you could really, you can't really make out the illustration if you had, you know, poor vision or, you know, if it's dark out, you know, whatever the case. So with this guy, they made the label white and the illustrations are very easy to see. Now, these illustrations are not always, you know, easy to kind of figure out if you've never done this before. So this video is here to help you. For this video, we'll go ahead and use the black one. They work exactly the same way. The only difference is the design. And for some reason, they did not add their name to the tool. I don't know why, 
It's nowhere on the tool. It does not say quick set. It's just the cradle. But I do see why they would redesign this as it's easier to see. So if you're a locksmith on your van, you probably have this tool. I'm going to use this one just because if you are ordering it recently, it will most likely look like this one. So the way this works, you will notice that it spins when it arrives. You will hold the bottom of your cradle and you will align this arrow right here to this little illustration of a smart lock plug, just like so. If you look at the face of your smart key or your smart lock, you'll see the keyway with this little divot. We look here, it's a little plug with a keyway and this little divot. We will just align that and set this to the side, setting it up for later. We will take our cylinder and we will locate the spring on the back. Now, let me find my screwdriver to point here. You will see on this one, you will see this little clip here. This you do not want to remove. You want to go further down and you will see this clip. These are its little feet here. You want to remove this clip, not this one. It's very important that you leave this one attached for this process. We will put our screwdriver right here and just give it a small twist and it just pops right up. And you want to make sure that you keep him in a safe spot as he is very important as he holds the plug in the cylinder. As you see, now that it's off, our cylinder slides right out. We'll set this aside. Now we have our plug. Now to show you that, that little clip here, if we were to remove him, this plug comes out even further and all of your wafers will kind of just spring all over the place. So you want to leave him on for right now. He's holding everything together, but as long as he's on there, if you were to say, you know, drop him, Nothing's going to happen. You're not going to lose any springs, any wafers, nothing to worry about. You might just, you know, dent the face, but you know, you can roll him and he's not going to go anywhere. So from here, we take our cradle tool and we put our plug in, in the same direction as this little picture here. And we hold the bottom of our cradle and we spin until our arrow meets this line here. So it is in line with this line. From here, we take our change tool, we insert him into the slot until we hear a click. We then take our new key, we'll use this one. We will put him all the way in and slowly hold the key as we pull the plug out of the cradle. Holding the body of the plug, you just twist the key back and forth, and you have now successfully rekeyed your smart lock. You will remove the key, place the plug back into the housing, as you see, he can fall back out. He's kind of held in by those little wafers there. We will then put our clip back. And if you are having trouble, these little arms on the side of the plug here, your clip is going to fit just below them. So trying to do this through a camera, we will fit him on right there. And you kind of see he clips right around. Now the plug will not leave the housing. We will then take our knob, put him in, press kind of on both sides, even pressure, and we now have a working smart lock. So that's all there is to this one. If this helped, feel free to leave a like. I appreciate all of my subscribers. I'm up to seven now, so that's pretty cool.
If you guys have any questions pertaining to smart locks or just locksmithing in general, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you want me to go more in depth on a topic or you want to see, you know, a certain topic I haven't touched on yet, if there's something you're struggling with, I will definitely try my best to help you. That's pretty much what this channel is about, is just helping apprentice locksmiths, you know, figure out the profession, figure out what they need to get started, um, what you want to bring, you know, day one to your shop, what you want to bring every day. I'll be kind of breaking down videos in that aspect. I will show, you know, some lock picking videos. I will show some impressioning videos, which I think in locksmithing is more important of a skill to have than lock picking. It's definitely something to learn before you try to learn to pick a lock, in my opinion. I will go more into that in future videos. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the likes and thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate it. And I look forward to putting out more videos to help you guys with more subjects and topics. And as always, have a nice day and stay legal.